in today's first tutorial on the chemistry of medicinal drugs we will have a closer look at the structure of COVID vaccines based on RNA technology. As you all know with these new vaccines the genetic information of RNA is transported within nanoparticles. Recently, Professor Tobias Unruh and his team from the University of Erlangen-Nürnberg have published an article where we, they have applied very sophisticated methods to uh, find out uh, some more details of the structure of these nanoparticles. Uh, in this case, they had a closer look at the uh, Comirnaty vaccine from Pfizer-BioNTech. The link, the link to that article from Professor Tobias Unruh, you will find uh, at the description, within the description um, of this uh, video. So, what did they find out? Well, we have a core of that nanoparticle, it is a lipid nanoparticle, and the core has a diameter of about 40 nanometers, maybe even a bit larger. So within the core, we find three substances, the modified RNA, then well, the so-called cationic lipid, that is ALC0315, it is the, from the mass, it is the main component of those uh, nanoparticles with 430 um, micrograms per injection. The mRNA is only 30 micrograms. And then we have a substantial amount of cholesterol. This is the core. It is not a solid core, it is some kind of liquid core. So then, Unruh and his co-workers found out that there is a shell, an inner shell, of about 2 nanometers in diameter, where we find, besides the cholesterol, here we have its structure. As you can see, it is uh, some kind of steroid, of course. Then we have this compound, DSCP, abbreviated. It is a so-called phospholipid. And here we have a phosphate and iron and an ammonium cation Overall, it is from the charge neutral, but this is very polar and therefore hydrophilic. And here we have those long chains of hydrocarbons and they are lipophilic and hydrophobic. So, Hydrocarbons here, hydrocarbons there at the cholesterol, and again at this component, ALC0159, we also have those hydrophilic, uh, lipophilic uh, chains, and we have a very long hydrophilic chain. It is a polyethylene oxide 
Well, it is very long here. N is 45. That means we have about 50 oxygens within that chain. And this, of course, will interact with water. And, uh, well, the ionic part here, the hydroxyl functionality at the uh, cholesterol, and this hydrophilic part is responsible for the solubility in water. Here we have water. Here in this, this is the outer shell with about four nanometers diameter. And here in the inner shell, we have almost no water. And then we have that um, oily core. So, and this, of course, reminds of what we know from soaps. Well, cleaning with soaps means we have also in a soap, or a classical soap, is a carboxylate functionality, the hydrophilic head, and the hydrophobic but lipophilic tail, which will surround the oily part which we would like to get rid of by solubilizing it in water. So, lipophilic interactions here, hydrophilic interactions outside, and here we have the protected core with the, RNA, with the RNA, with that very important molecule, the ALC0315, and some cholesterol. And the molecular interactions that occur within this core, we will analyze in the next video. Thanks for listening.